Hey guys, now I know it's been a minute since I uploaded to YouTube um, but I'm hoping to get back on it now. So to start things off I have got this gorgeous soft nude white and silver set. So as you can see this is a brand new set. I have applied uh, Pro Impression Tips in um, Natural, the competition ones. Um, and I've done obviously my shaping, I've applied a nice clear layer and now I'm going in with my design. So I'm starting off on the ring finger and the colour I'm using is Sugar Almonds by Glitter Bells. This colour isn't available yet but um, we are just waiting for labels and then it will be available to buy. So please bear with us guys. Or let's just say please bear with Annabelle because she's the one who's getting all the all the questions and whatnot about it but it will be available super super soon so as you can see it's a really gorgeous soft nude it is an absolutely stunning colour since I've got this colour pink I've got to say it has been my go-to and um, it's really light and soft perfect for boomers and um, it's really nice for a nail bed as well but it's quite it's not a natural look it is quite a I want to say a plasticky looking nail bed um, it is quite a fake colour but it is absolutely stunning um, so as you can see I'm just uh, applying that to the full nails so we're just building a nice full nude nail ready to apply a couple of crystals on later so I'm just using my brush just to push all that into place make sure it's nice and neat so I've got minimal filing later on I do apologise about my hair getting in shot um, it is currently about 30 degrees and I've got the fan blowing um, just to try and cool us down a little bit because it's red hot. I know you guys are going to be feeling it too. So moving on to the ring finger. So as you can see I've picked up another bead of sugar almonds. And now I'm just building my extended nail bed now with this colour. So I'm currently using my Glitter Bells size 10 brush. Absolutely lovely brush. Um, it is a different shape to what I'm used to. Um... It is quite round and um, when, it, when I got it out of the package I was like oh, it's like a little peanut. <laughs> so my clients now call it my peanut brush. It's kind of stuck. Um, but it is a really really nice brush to work with. Holds a hell of a lot of liquid. Um, say it's only a size 10. I was not expecting it to pick up the size beads that it does when I first used it. I was like wow. So it really is a beauty to use. As you can see it's picking up gorgeous beads there. And it's really really easy to tuck into that cuticle area. It's doing exactly as I want it. So you can see I've built a lovely nail bed there. So I'm just going to apply another small bead just to make sure that I'm happy with my apex and everything. And like I said earlier, we don't want it. We want it to be as minimal filing as possible later on because this heat is unbearable. So I'm just making sure that it's all the right height. So then I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the ring on the index finger should I say. Wow you can tell it's been a while since I've done a voiceover. Literally feel like I can't speak. <laughs> so I'm just applying the bead pretty much where I want my smile line and then I'm going to start feathering that back as I'm pushing that out to side walls. So my brush is really really wet and my liquid is really cold because I've had um I've got like a ramekin dish and I've um put water in it popped my modern pot in the middle and I've froze it um so obviously with the hot with the hot weather I didn't want my acrylic to set too quick so obviously my monomer is super super cold um so at points it is a little bit runnier than what I'd like but I would rather it be cold than hot because you cannot do anything in this heat it is a nightmare but it's giving me a little bit more time to play which i'm happy about so i can get that smell line nice and neat without filing so then i'm happy with that so i'm going to go on and apply my cuticle bead so i'm going to pop that on right at the cuticle tip my client's nail right down i'm going to brush on around a 45 degree angle and i'm literally just teasing that product into cuticle and sidewall and then sweeping the front of that bead down. So I'm leaving the majority of the bead at the back. I'm not touching it. And that way it will build my apex for me. So it's a lot less work. 
to clean up my smile line now make sure it's exactly how I want it and then just apply another small bead just to make sure my apex is nice and exactly where I want it so I'm super happy with that one so on this nail we did a baby boomer god there's my hair again just blowing around um, so I'm using the Snowdrops White from Glitter Bells. I'm just placing that on around halfway up the nail and then I'm feathering that back and then I'm going to walk the rest of this white right down this nail. Just patting and pulling. Then I'm going to apply another small bead at the free edge. And then I'm going to feather that up. I'm going to put my brush back round and make sure that is right down to the corners. It's exactly where I want it. There's a little bit of excess so I'm going to pull that off. Now what happened here was um, I was just happily doing the nail and then all of a sudden my client screamed and I was like oh my god what is the matter. There was a spider dangling above my head. So we were literally screaming and we ran out of the room. So I missed me doing the pink on the baby boomer. But there is a ton of baby boomer videos um, on my YouTube. So if you just have a scroll down, um, you will find another one down there. But yeah, honestly, like, I'm petrified of spiders. But this one was, like, massive. And it was just dangling on a web above my head. So we ran out of the room and everything. It was hilarious. So obviously I have cut that from the video because <laughs> it was ridiculous. So I'm just using Snowdrops White on the thumb again um, and I'm just doing um, sort of the same thing as I did with the Baby Boomer. So I'm just covering half to three quarters of the nail nice and thinly, pulling that product down. Sorry, I do go out of shot. Just battling with the end there just to get a little bit of excess off. So as you can see, the white is now covering three quarters of that nail. So I'm going to go into some gorgeous white silver glitter. So I'm going to go into my clear and then into my glitter. And I'm just going to place that on at the cuticle area. And then we're going to blend that down. Make sure we've got that nice and feathered down we don't want too much of a harsh line obviously where our glitter ends and our white begins so i'm just going to go and pick up another small bead now and just really tuck that into that cuticle area make sure it's nice and neat so this client was going away on holiday um, actually going to a five star luxury tree swim up rooms swim up bar i was literally turning green with envy as she was telling me all about holiday so she wanted something nice and white and fresh um, a little bit of silver in there obviously to sparkle in the sun so i'm gonna file my smile lines now so i'm using a nice rough file so uh, i tend to use a 100 or a 150 grit file and i keep my file nice and flat against the acrylic so I'm keeping it on a 90 degree angle so it's straight against the acrylic and I'm filing against the acrylic, not against her natural nail because that is where we will cause damage and we definitely don't want that. So I'm just going to file that into shape now. Make sure it's nice and neat and nice and even. Starting at the same points. And then we're going to bring this round, make sure I've got a nice soft point there. I do have to apologise as well at the state of my nails, they are so, so bad. But I just have no time to do them whatsoever. So I'm going to apply a, another gorgeous bit of this white silver glitter. Um, this was a mix of three glitters from, I think it was Young Nails. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Super expensive, but super gorgeous. Um, I will try and get the link and put it down below if I can find it. Um, I did buy this at a beauty show about 
four years ago, I think. So, um, yeah, they should still do it. I'm guessing it's a super popular one. Um, but like I say, if I can find the link, I will pop it down below. So I'm going into my clear powder and then straight into my raw loose glitter. And I'm just placing that on super thin to the free edge area. Just making sure everywhere is nice and covered. They can't see the tip anywhere. gonna go right up into that wing area now using the very tip of my brush making sure my smile line is nice and clean as well you don't want no glitter particles sort of coming up your wall because you can see that once you file it and it's super super annoying so I'm just giving it a wiggle there I think that's like sort of wiggle everyone does as soon as they apply glitter just to have a look just to check how sparkly it is so I know it's been like so long since I uploaded a video I think it's been like a month and literally I have been inundated with messages from you guys um so sorry about that <laughs> phone's just going off um yeah I've been inundated with messages from you guys like when are you going back to YouTube we miss you and I've just been so busy um, my next video will explain a little bit more in depth why I've been so busy and what I've been up to. Um, so all will be revealed super soon. Um, so yes, yeah, so I just thought I would pop back and try and get some videos done for you. So I've got this one and I've got one more to upload and then hopefully I can get some more done this week. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, they're both full sets. I've got a product review coming soon as well. I've had a nice PR package from an amazing gel company. So hopefully a review coming super soon. So I'm go obviously you've just seen me cap that uh, free edge area in uh, Glitter Bell's glass slippers. So now I'm capping the Baby Boomer, well obviously the spider really rudely interrupted. <laughs> Again in glass slippers. Um, I have got a little bit of glitter in there which absolutely drives me insane. You can probably hear the dogs barking in the background as well. I've got the windows open because like I said it's about 30 degrees. And I think the window cleaner has just showed up. Which is awesome. So I'm just going to place another bead at that free edge area. And I'm going to pull it up, make sure it's nice and even. Got good structure and everything in that nail. And then I cap the glitter ombre on the thumb. And then moving on to the index finger. So I'm using Snowdrops Y to do a lovely French on this one. So I'm just pushing that bead right up to that winged area. Making sure it's nice and neat. And then I'm patting and pulling. And I'm just going to have to get another small bead just to get that slight winged area up there. And then I'm just going to pop a tiny bit more like I said. And then just bring that right down. Obviously I'm not worrying about it going on my smile line. Because we're going to fail these into shape. And then as if by magic. They are filed into shape and now I'm going to top coat using my Jellica no wipe top coat this is my go to top coat absolutely adore it super shiny it lasts no chipping no dulling no discoloration nothing it is amazing so as some of you guys know I have recently started distribution and um, so this top coat and the full glitter bell system is available from me um, the website is currently uh, being built as we speak. I've got a team on that. Um, so it's only available like if you can pop me a message on um, like my Facebook. Um, that would be absolutely amazing. And if you want anything, obviously pop me an order. And I can explain um, pick up points or things like that to you. Or obviously price points, everything like that. But you can see how lovely and thick this top coat is. It's absolutely amazing. 
So we're going to pop it into the lamp to cure and I cure for 60 seconds and leave to cool for around 30 seconds. So then we're going to apply some crystals to this plain nude nail. So this is a nude nail from the other hand but you get the gist. So I'm using CJP's Gripper Glue uh, which is an amazing amazing glue for applying crystals. I never have any um, lost or go missing or anything like that. So my crystals are all available from Angels Crystals um, which is an amazing quite new company and they're doing absolutely amazingly. Um, I will pop the link below for you to obviously go and purchase or have a nosy and I also have a discount code. So discount code is just my name, just Sonia, nice and simple. Um, they have an Instagram page as well, obviously I'll leave all that information down below. Um, but I am using the white opal mix and I'm also using the AB mix. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then I'm also using some SS3. Um, they don't come in the mix packs, they're a separate pack, but they are my most popular ones. Like I use the most of them and thinking about it, I actually need to order some more of them. So I will go on and do that after I've uploaded this video. So you can see I'm just using the grip of glue, tiny, tiny amounts. Um, and I'm also using my crystal katana to pick them up, which I do need a new one. So if you guys have got any recommendations on where to get a new katana head from, I am. Or even a better gem picker upper, <laughs> then I am all ears. So obviously I've sped this up a little bit, just so you don't want to watch me applying crystals until the cows come home, dear. It's quite impressive, but you can see. They are applying super easy, they're not moving, not going anywhere. I think the trick is tiny amounts of glue. And then just make sure you're getting them exactly where you want them. And I think they just finished the nails off. Really, really cute. You can see I'm just applying a couple more SS3s just to finish it off. So then here is the finished set. Thank you so much for watching guys. It is great to be back. So please comment below and let me know what you think of these and I'll see you in the next video.